All right, in this video, we're going to do an example of induction. And in this case, we're going to prove part A here. We're going to try to justify that 4 plus 9 plus 14 plus 19 plus dot, 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 uh, plus 5n minus 1 is equal to n over 2 times the quantity 3 plus 5n. So the first thing I'm going to do is the basis step. I'm going to show that this is valid, in this case, for n equals 1. Okay, so let's see. Well, in, if we use n equals 1 on the left, we'll just be left with 4. On the right side, if we plug it in, I put a little question mark because I'm trying to verify, in fact, these are equal. So I kind of ask myself, does 4 equal what I'm about to get? Well, if we plug in 1, we'll get 1 half, and then we'll have 3 plus 5. Well, on the right side, we'll get 8. Uh, times a half, which is four. So definitely, um, this is true. Okay, so so this is valid. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the induction step. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume the statement is true. We're going to assume the statement is true for the value n equals k, and we're going to show it's true. for the value n equals k plus 1. Okay, so let's see, where did our little formula go? Okay, so we're going to assume here that if we take 4 plus 9 plus 14 plus 19 plus dot 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 5k minus 1, we're going to assume that that is in fact equal to k over 2 times 3 plus 5k. And now we have to show that if we take 4 plus 9 plus 14 plus 19 plus dot 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 5k minus 1 and then one additional term 5 times the quantity k plus 1 minus 1 does that equal k plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 5 times k plus 1 um, on the right. Okay, so this is what we have to justify. And if we can justify this last line, well then um, we will have proven our statement. Okay, so we're going to use our induction step here. By assumption, this first bit of stuff, 4 plus 9 plus 14 plus 19 plus da 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 5k minus 1, that's going to give us k over 2 times 3 plus 5k. But then we still have this additional term of 5 times k plus 1 minus 1. <clears throat> and we're asking ourselves again, does this equal k plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 5 times k plus 1? And typically what I do here is I kind of just clean up both sides, collect like terms, and try to uh, see if in fact you know these things are in fact equal. So I'm going to do a little simplification here um, the, as we go. k over 2, I'll leave that alone for the moment. Inside the parentheses we would have 5k. If we distribute we would have a positive 5 minus 1 which would be positive 4. On the right side we have k plus 1 over 2. It looks like we would have 3 plus 5k plus 5. So again, I'm still asking myself, are these equal? Well, on the right side, if we distribute, we would have 3k over 2 plus 5k squared over 2 plus 5k plus 4. Okay. On the right side, if we distribute, uh, well, let's, let's clean up inside the parentheses first, and then we'll distribute. 3 plus 5 would be 8. And then we still have our 5k left over. So again, I'm asking myself, are these equal? Um, on the left side, we could get common denominators if we wanted to. Um, we don't really have to, but we could multiply our 5k top and bottom by 2. That would give us 10k over 2 plus 3k over 2. That would give us 13k over 2 plus 5k squared over 2 plus 4. On the right, if we distribute, this is one big term, so we would have 8 times k plus 1 over 2 plus 5k times 
k plus 1 over 2. I'm not going to do much on the left side now for the moment. So again, are these equal? I'm going to keep putting my question marks in there. Well, let's see. If we distribute on the right, we'll get 8k. Well, let's even just simplify first. Um, we could make 8 over 2 into 4. So really, when we distribute, we would get 4k plus 4. And then it looks like we would have 5k squared over 2 plus 5k over 2 when we multiply that out a little bit. Well, let's see. I think we're getting pretty close at this point. So again, I'm still wondering, are these equal? Well, let's see. We could take our 4k over 1, multiply top and bottom by 2. That would give us 8k over 2 plus 5k over 2. That would be 13k over 2. We've got our 5k squared over 2 term in there. We've got our plus 4 in there. So to me, yes, in fact, these two sides are equal. So now we've proved our induction step. And that together with our, base, our basis step um, does, in fact, show that this original statement is, in fact, true.